Hey folks, this is Miguel from Espera Home Madrid and today I came to this really nice three share bedroom apartment located in Calle Pinos de Osuna, which is in the neighborhood of Barajas, alright? So yeah, that's right, this is very close to the airport, it's at about 10 minutes by bus and well, you can also even, uh, I mean, if you have a car, then you're going to be even sooner there, alright? And well, like I said, it's in Barajas, but this neighborhood is really, really quiet and the good thing is that the closest metro station, it's only at about five minutes. It's called El Capricho, all right? It's basically just right around the corner. And well, you will be, that, and it's actually line five that goes straight to Gran Vía. So it's not gonna take you more than 45 minutes to get to the main center, all right? And well, this neighborhood is actually very, very quiet. I've been here, well, of course, doing the, uh, the, the video and everything. And it's really quiet, really peaceful. There's tons of natural lighting here in the living room and on the bathrooms and the landlady told me that also there are many convenience stores and bars and things to do around, lots of parks and it's really quiet and really nice, right? And by the way, she lives in here, her name is Sara and most of the time she is actually working from home but uh, she has, you know, have guests for almost 10 years now, so uh, I mean, she's a great uh, host and I'm, gonna, I'm sure you're going to have a good time with her. All right, but let me show you the house. All right, so I'll go to the main door first to give you a quick overview. All right, so that's the main door. So let me turn around real quick. So, so as you come in to the right, we have the bathroom. This right here is the kitchen, living room, and then first door to the left is another bathroom. And then those are, well, that's bedroom one, two, and three. All right, so let's get started here uh, in the first bathroom now that we're here at the entrance. So, well, first of all, this is the entrance hall, pretty nice. And then here's one of the bathrooms. Of course, it's a complete bathroom, and it, it does have, of course, the sink, the tub, and the toilet in here. All right, actually, a good sized bathroom. All right, now I'm gonna show you the kitchen, which is right here. Of course, the landlady lives in here, so it's fully equipped. I don't need to uh, open every drawer to show you, <laughs> all right? But you can see there are many pots, plates, some pans in, in there, a microwave oven, the, uh, the oven, the induction stove, the dishwasher, of course, the sink, and then, well, inside all the cabinets, there's tons of stuff, kitchen stuff. <laughs> all right, and well, there's a good space in here for you to even cook or you know just have a quick meal in here because there's a chair. All right, and then this little corner is just the laundry room. All right, so here's where the washing machine is, and it goes to the exterior. So there's tons of lighting here. So another view of the kitchen from here. And now I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna start with the bedrooms, okay? But first, I'll show you the other bathroom, which is right here at the end of the hall, and this one is even bigger than the other one. It, has, it also has the sink, the, uh, the toilet, of course, and this one has a just a shower, not a tub, but it's still pretty big, so that's cool. All right, and then, well, of course, the mirror. All right, so let's get started with bedrooms. This right here is bedroom number one, and it does have a single bed. It has a desk in here as well with a chair, and it has a shelf there for, you know, you have storage space in there or decoration, decoration as well. You also have this nice bookshelf, which is kind of uh, twisted, but it's pretty cool, and some more in there, all right? And in there as well, that's another shelf. Uh, well, it goes to the exterior, as you can see, so there's good amount of natural light let me turn around so give you another view from here all right and well also it has the built-in closet unit that you see in here and well it does have plenty of space you have space there for the hangers you have a couple of shelves in there and on this other side there's more space as well all right, so let me give you another view from this corner of bedroom number one. 
Okay, let's keep going. And well, this is bedroom number two, but a few things about it. So as you can see, the setup right now is just one single bed in a desk. But the landlady has another mattress in there, so she can turn this bedroom into either two single beds or a double bed. All right, so it depends on what you are looking for or what you need. But in the meantime, this is how it is with a single bed, a desk in here. You have another shelf in there as well, and in there as well. Same window to the exterior, and then even a bigger uh, built in closet unit with some drawers down there and well plenty of space in here as well and there's the tube there for the hangers and even up there all right I'll to this corner to give you another view of bedroom number two all right now uh, let's check bedroom number three which is the biggest bedroom of all and well this one has a double bed as you can see it has a couple of nightstands as well on each side and well it has a built-in closet unit but that you know not all the space in there is available because the landlady has some of her stuff in, in there all right but well you have the this bedroom available as well let me move to this corner to give you another view there's even a set of drawers in there as well and a TV that in the other two there's no TV but there's one in here all right and what well, it also has a window to the same exterior of course those are the uh, windows for bedrooms one and two all right. so let's keep going and now I'm gonna show you the living room which is right in front of bedroom three and well it's pretty big as you can see you have a dining table in here with a couple of chairs uh, like I said, the landlady works from home most of the time, so this is kind of like her working space, but still, you know, you can be in here. And on this corner, we have a, well, basically like the living room, where a couple of, uh, you know, with two couches, a huge TV in there, a uh, nice table in there, and a fish tank on this corner with a fake seahorse it's fake but the other fishes are real <laughs> all right so let me give you another view of the living room from this corner as you can see very luminous and it's also very fresh in here there's a lot of air coming in from the terrace all right another one from here all right and last but not least i'll show you the terrace that of course goes to the exterior it's super sunny and but you still have a roof in here so you have you get some shadow not you know so you don't get all the sun directly and there's a nice table in here with a couple of chairs and that's just the rack to dry your clothes all right so one last view of the terrace all right and double beat guys so again this is a three share bedroom apartment uh, located, like I said, in the neighborhood of Barajas, maybe 45 minutes away from the main center, but this is a very quiet neighborhood and you still get a lot of convenience stores around so you don't have to move much if you don't want to. Alright, and well, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.